Fight Club's chemical burn is one of the most interesting and important scenes in the movie. And this scene alone addresses many of the film's central themes. So how does this scene parallel Fight Club's messages? Why on earth would someone self-inflict a chemical burn on themselves? And what can we learn from Tyler's bizarre ritual? Let's explore. The main motifs that are conveyed in this scene are dealing with pain and suffering, preparing to face death, and understanding the necessity of sacrifice. At the start of the movie, when our narrator has insomnia, he thinks he's in pain. Hey, come on, I'm in pain. Instead of getting to the root of the problem and trying to uncover the base of his demons, he begs for medication to alleviate the suffering. At the support groups, our narrator is introduced to real pain and suffering. He encounters terminally ill people who are genuinely preparing to face death. At these support groups, our narrator has been taught to combat pain and suffering through guided meditation. Imagine your pain as a white ball of healing light. So during the severe chemical burn, our narrator closes his eyes, retreats to his cave, and looks to his power animal for comfort. Tyler tries to slap him out of it, to get him to open his eyes, stay with, accept, and confront his pain. Tells him that no one, not even God, is going to save him. And only through correct action can he fix it and make it better. Now let's quickly jump to the end of the movie, where our narrator has completed his evolution. Just before pulling the trigger for his own suicide, what does our narrator say to Tyler? Tyler. I should have really listened to me. My eyes are open. My eyes are open. In other words, I'm dealing with my pain, suffering, and death head on through action, and I'm fully prepared for death and to sacrifice myself. And it's this realization and action by our narrator that leads to Tyler's demise. Now back to the scene. At the end of the scene, Tyler gives our narrator two options. Listen! You can run water over your hand to make it worse, or look at me! Or you can use vinegar to neutralize the burn. You can run water over your hand and make it worse, or you can use vinegar to neutralize the burn. Now, running water over his burned hand would have given him instant comfort and alleviation, much like the medication for insomnia would have. But it's a decision that would have just been a temporary band-aid, and ultimately, much like medication, would have just made it worse. Instead, our narrator listens to Tyler. He sits with his pain, accepts it, and opts for the better, less comfortable solution, using vinegar to neutralize the burn, which ultimately makes it better. Our old narrator would have sprinted to the sink for water, and thus this decision marks some growth and development in our character. How do you deal with pain and suffering? Are you looking for a power animal or someone else to save you? Do you face your problems head on, spend time with your pain, try to understand it, and come up with a proper solution to make it better? Or do you run for the bottle, abuse drugs, and fill the void with things like food or materialism? Now, let's take a look at some of the other hidden symbolism in this scene. Consider the name of the substance lie. This is obviously a homonym for the other word lie, i.e. something that is false, fake, or not real. Much like, guess who? Our friend Tyler Durden. Earlier in the movie, before his and the narrator's very first fight, Tyler drops this iconic line. I don't want to die without any scars. Of course, what does the chemical burn leave? A massive and grotesque scar. Also, the scar's in the shape of a kiss. What does Tyler do at the start of this scene? Kisses his hand. You'll also recall earlier in the film, when Tyler was discussing his job as a film projectionist, he called the moment where a reel needs to be changed from one to the next a cigarette burn, which had the little marking in the top of the film. Well, the burn on the narrator's hand is kind of like the movie's cigarette burn, except it's a symbol of a shift between two personalities, and a shift in his overall development. Now, let's also consider the fact that Tyler is a cult leader, and it's not uncommon for members to suffer a type of initiation. In this case, a preparation for sacrifice and death. Hey, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments below and drop a sub.
Also, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you next time.